If you are an agency owner, a coach, or a consultant, and you are generating your leads from either your social media platforms or you're either running paid traffic, then this video is going to be extremely, extremely important for you because it is about attribution tracking. And if you don't have this in place for your agency, your coaching business, or your consulting business, you're going to be kind of shooting in the dark because I'm going to explain why you're going to be shooting in the dark and why it's important to be doing attribution tracking and how you actually do it. And in this case, I'm going to use the example with Calendly because I know a ton, a ton of people are using Calendly at the moment. So what actually is attribution tracking? In the simplest terms and what it sounds like is you're tracking your attribution. Where are people coming from? So for example, if you look here, this is the most simplest flow that a lot of people have from my experience, whether they're running paid traffic or not. They are generating traffic, whether that's paid or organically with content and posts and stuff through Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, wherever you're getting leads from. And you're driving everyone either to a, a booking form, an inquiry form, a video sales letter that's more typical in uh, paid traffic. You're running people towards a video that they can opt in for. Then they watch a video and book a call with you, a newsletter sign up, etc. We're driving people towards somewhere that they can take an action that we want so we can either get on a call with them in the future. But if we aren't tracking where these bookings come from, we don't really know which platform we need to double down on. We don't know. We could be spending a ton of time on Twitter and realize that 90% of our good leads and our good prospects are coming from Facebook or from YouTube. But if you don't have attribution tracking, then we literally don't know that. And we're going to be spending time on Twitter or these platforms, which aren't really even performing that well for you, when you could just cut it out, get back all that focus and that attention and that time and put it into the Facebook and the YouTube, which in this case, in this example I gave you, that's what's working for you. So let me scroll down to the next little box here. Once we start doing attribution tracking, we do this through something called UTM parameters. This is the most typical way people do it. There are other approaches that I've worked with clients running um, paid traffic and will actually drive people to completely different funnels just to be sure that things aren't getting mixed up. But using UTM parameters is the most typical way that you're going to do attribution tracking. And I'm just going to hop over to a, a very quick example I found in a, a Hootsuite blog. So you can see here, you've probably seen this before. We have a URL on the internet and after the question mark, we have what we call query parameters and all UTM parameters are is everything that starts with UTM underscore source, UTM underscore medium, UTM underscore campaign. And it just so happens that UTM parameters became the standard of how we name these tracking parameters. So all these different apps that we use, our CRMs, Canonly, for example, if we include those UTM parameters, they will automatically pull that data in for us. And we can obviously start to get, and get a good feel when we build out a Google Sheet dashboard or a dashboard in our, um, our tools like HubSpot, which platform is actually performing the best for us and where can we double down? So that is what a UTM link looks like. So for example, let's say I'm generating traffic on YouTube, like I'm recording a video right now, and I wanna invite people to book a call for me. I might have my URL so that's the URL. I can just post that out and put that on all the platforms, but then I don't know where people are coming from. But let's say I want to be sure that the one I post on YouTube, I add the UTM source YouTube. And then for example, if I post it on Facebook, it's going to be UTM source Facebook. And then on Twitter, UTM source Twitter. And that means whenever someone comes to this page and books in a call with me, and remember, this is still the same event, just with a different UTM parameter, it's going to show up in Calendly with that UTM source. So I can see this one came from YouTube, another one came from Twitter. And to add on top of that, in regards to automated workflows and automations, in Zapier, for example, very typical, if ID created in Canada, this is the most simple Canadian trigger on Zapier. We can see we get the UTM source in here. And obviously that means when we add them to the CRM, we can say this lead came from YouTube, this lead came from Facebook. And then obviously we can also create segments and also send them different emails and different contact points based on how they actually came into the business and into the funnel. And that is literally it. So just to go back to what we started at is we have all this traffic come in from our different social media platforms. We don't know 
where the people are coming from once they're booking a call. We just know one of these channels is working for us, or maybe they're all equally working, but we don't know that exactly because we don't have the numbers. But once we add UTM parameters, UTM tracking parameters, that's with the UTM source, the medium, et cetera, then we are going to be able to know without a doubt with the data which platform is booking us the most calls, who's bringing the most leads, and we actually have that data coming into our workflows. And then we can make confident and logical decisions around where to put our time and attention to grow our, our agency, our coach business, or our consulting business. And if you want help setting all of these things up to get all your tracking parameters in place and make sure we are building up the dashboards and we can actually make strategic and confident decisions, then I also invite you to book in a call with me. You can obviously check out links in my profile. You can check out my website, all that good stuff. And we can get that set up for you so you have a very clean and simple data-driven business. So hope that's it for now. And hopefully that explains a not too complicated topic, quite straightforward.